Do you know how to compensate the national sales director of your company? And more importantly, do you know why they are so important and so vital to the success of your company? Hi, I'm Robert Proctor. And for the last 20 years, I've been involved in the launch of over a thousand network marketing companies. Today, only 10% are still in business, 90% failed. I want to give you some tips and tools, some hints and suggestions to avoid being part of that 90% and instead be part of the 10% because that's the part you want to be part of, the success 10%. The national sales director is the Pied Piper of your company. They're actually, besides your compensation plan and your products and you, they are the most important aspect of your company. They're gonna lead the charge. They're the person that understands your vision better than anybody else, and they're gonna go out and pound the streets. They're gonna get on the phone and crunch it out 14, 16 hours a day. They're gonna recruit the top distributors. They're gonna recruit the sales force that's gonna go out and make your company successful because they're going to voice your brand. What is your vision? What is your vision plan? What is your vision statement? They're the ones that are gonna make everybody understand what that is. They're gonna hold your meetings. They're gonna work with you to put together your marketing materials, your conference calls, your schedules, your customer demonstrations, your product demonstrations, your hotel meetings. They're gonna do everything for you. And why shouldn't you be doing that? Because you've probably been an owner of a company or a distributor and you can do all that stuff. Well, as the CEO, the president of a company, your job is to make sure the company is running properly, that it's doing the things that it should do. If you as an owner are trying to run a company, acquire products, and trying to be the national recruiter, the national sales director, guess what? You know, I told you about those 90% that failed, good chance you're gonna be part of that 90%. You need a national sales director to go out and lead the charge and do what they do best for you is build your vision, build your brand. Now the important question is, how do you compensate that national sales director? You know, if you've looked at my previous uh, videos, I talk about business development agreement, what's called a BDA. And if you talk to attorneys in the industry, they're gonna talk to you about BDAs as well. You know, a lot of network marketing companies have tried to bring in distributors to be national sales director and compensate them in the comp plan by vesting them or giving them side deals. Well, you know what? Side deals are not the way to run your business. A national sales director is the top star on your NBA team, your NFL team. They're the top person. So when you bring in that top person, let everybody know you got that top distributor. They're gonna be your national sales director and you are paying them a salary. They are part of the company. What that means also is as a distributor, a distributor is a volunteer army. You can't tell a distributor where to be at, when to be at, or what to do. The national sales director is an employee of the company. So you can tell them where to be, what to do, although they're already gonna know all those things because they've got the experience. So how do you compensate them? First thing, give them a salary. Give them a paycheck. They're gonna go out there and bust a gut for you. You need to give them a good salary and a good paycheck. If you look statistically, and you'll find out that the average national sales director starts between $125,000 and $150,000 a year. That's just their salary. They also usually tend to have the top position in the company and they're earning off of the compensation plan. They're not vested. You don't give them a vesting in the compensation plan. They have to earn their way through it just like a distributor would. And also, a national sales director is gonna get an override on all of the company sales. Could be 1%, 2%, 3%. So three different ways that a national sales director is gonna get compensated. One, you're gonna give them a good salary and you're gonna give them targets and dates Number of distributors they've got to get involved in the company, customers that they've got to get involved in, sales figures that they've got to hit, okay? So they're gonna have targets, and for that target, they're gonna get a really good salary. They're also gonna have a top position in the company because as a distributor, they're gonna earn. And that's what they do. They're used to being a distributor, they've done well in another company, and they wanna be involved in the compensation plan of your company. And third, because they're helping you build the entire company, they're working with other leaders. They're working with local sales directors. They're working with other leaders to put together meetings and events and market materials. Because they're doing that, they may not be compensated on that person's team, you're gonna give them a percentage override on the entire company. I hope you got some value from this today. If you think I can help you a little bit more, like I said, I've got 20 years experience, give me a shout on the phone, fire me an email on this page, and if you got some value from this today, if you think others might get some value, do me a favor, like it, share it, and hey, we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.